This is Twit. You know, Geekbench only goes so far to tell you anything. I mean, it's yeah. good for comparing apples to apples, I guess. But uh, I really think it's a real-world performance. Things like just watching all those apps launch, uh, yeah. that's wh what you really care about. Yeah. I'm so pleased that so many uh, common users are going to find so many benefits to this right out the right out the gate. This is one of those subtle things where, well, well because we've changed to this new multi-channel architecture, you might find that if you're using 8K and transcoding to, no, it's your apps will launch faster. Your battery will last a lot, lot longer. You will be able to run apps you weren't able to run before. These are the things that, these are the things you like to see in the first few days that you're using a machine. Uh, you also like to see, oh, I forgot. I, I haven't even taken I, I forgot to charge this because I haven't needed to these are not subtle <laughs> I haven't uh, I haven't seen the uh, Xcode benchmarks but Curtis B in the chat room says Xcode compile tests are apparently beating a 10 core iMac Pro yeah oh Matthew boy Panzerino has them in his timeline he also unzipped Xcode for all the developers out there that's apparently porn for the developers just yeah. watching those unzipped it's numbers the worst coming. thing ever is unzipping Xcode uh, it takes, it's ridiculous. It takes forever. Uh, and yeah, that was really impressive. Again, uh, that's Matthew Panzerino's tech crunch. Yeah. Review. At Panzer. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can't wait. I'm sorry. Yeah. And he compiled and, WebKit and it was, and Dave 2D on in his video too, he was showing people run, like it, it's 42 seconds to build his standard test suite on, uh, in Xcode. And that's the same as people were getting with top of the end Hackintoshes. And they, they think they just hit the I.O. limit at that point. It's not, even, it's not even a processor limit Here's anymore. the uh, WebKit compile time. So this is kind of an Xcode yeah. benchmark. Um, the, on the left, smaller is obviously better. The uh, Mac Mini, 19 minutes compared to, you know. Don't keep going, Leo. Don't do it. 20 minutes <laughs> on the Mac Pro. It's actually faster compiling WebKit than a than the 2019 Mac Pro, and this is exactly what I was saying to people who said, "Well, you're going to want to still get that Intel for all the you know raw performance or whatevs." Um, <laughs> you need to really want all those Xeon. Like you need to have a specific reason to have that many specifically Xeon cores at this point. I have that 10 core iMac Pro I bought a few years ago on your recommendation, Renee, and I which loved you might it. as well throw in the garbage. But right now, now I'm figuring <laughs> it's not going to be. Uh, it's not going to be. The display is nice. It's a nice display. <laughs> it's got a space gray keyboard. It's got a space gray keyboard. Leo, I, I, I really I look forward to your comparison between the iMac Pro and the MacBook Pro 13 inch. I I mean. They should not be comparable, but it actually sounds like there's reasons to make comparisons between them. I can't wait to hear what you think about the, t the differences between the two. Uh, Matthew was uh, uh, getting f a little bit faster speeds. Uh, some some, some diff big difference with the Mac Mini than with the MacBook Pro for some reason. Um, On long build, it's, un it's completely unconstrained. Like it will never ramp Cause down. Because it's, it's just cooler. Because right. it's got more space. And it, it's so empty now inside. It's empty. There's just a lot of air. <laughs> Uh, you should be able to store mints in there. Just you know, make use of that yes. space. <laughs> yeah, if if the Mac Mini box was easy to open and access, and you could just like put a little <laughs> vase of flowers inside. Yeah. Here is the uh, here is the we X code. All have that it'll be Apple TV size one day. Because I want to uh, yeah. get the developers aroused. Here's the X code unzip <laughs> right. time. Mac Pro, 10 what? minutes and 19 seconds. Mac Mini no. M1, 5 minutes and 5 seconds. And less, twice as fast as a Mac Pro. That's not just Mac Mini. That's MacBook. That's the MacBook Air, too. The five Air is five, 5 minutes, seconds. 5 seconds. That's gotta, put on some Barry White when you talk like this, Leo, please. Baby, <laughs> baby. You know your Mac Pro that unzips Xcode in 10 minutes? My MacBook Air is going to do it twice as fast. Yeah, sure, baby. Talking right. to you late night. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know about M1 after hours. Real performance. <laughs> wow. It's it's ridiculous. Now that's yeah. a function a also power, of drive of drive speed, I would guess, because uh, isn't it disk bound or I don't know, is it CPU bound? Well, the Mac Pro's drives are super fast. That's true. Can't be that. <laughs> Lori's going to be control everything. Oh, baby. Yep. Just throw it all in the garbage. You know, Make room. 
<laughs> all, all the reviewers were saying that I am going to get, get, rent a U-Haul and just stand by on all of the trash. Yeah, there'll be a lot of things. Trash in, yeah. Yeah. I might not even <laughs> need, but with all the multiprocessors I'm going to collect. It's going to be hyped this year. <laughs> Gigabytes per second uh, on the um, Mac Mini, let's say, um, versus the... Uh, well, this is compared to the MacBooks, so... But significantly faster uh, drive speeds. Not 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 twice as fast. It was the Air that got the biggest boost. The other ones were yeah, because the, the Air faster. was really pretty slow, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, here's the crappy camera. Although it's the same crappy camera on both the 16 and the and the MacBook Pro, but you could see yeah. that at least the uh, processing is making it look color wise a little bit better. It makes it look like he's less sleepy. He's not so purple. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Just the ability to sense that, oh, maybe the reason why there's a blue cast on this person's face is because his face is right next to an LCD screen. And why don't we just correct that? Yeah. That's, just that is good.